What is going on, Loud and Proud Code? Hopefully, you guys are doing absolutely awesome. I actually kind of forgot to give Archon Off Road a little bit of a plug yesterday and also just custom offsets. When it comes to my wheels and tires, a lot of times now I order whether I'm getting Anthems or not, or whatever brand wheel or tire I'm getting. I order them through custom offsets, and Anthem actually sells a lot of their products through custom offsets. Anyhow, I order my stuff through them a lot now, and I'm actually linked up with their affiliate program now. So, if you guys are interested in wheels and tires, make sure you check out custom offsets. They're not paying me to say this, but this is just a way for me to be able to actually show that I can refer people to a company. And when you check out, let them know that I sent you. So there's gonna be a tab that says who sent you. Scroll through and just say, click on loud and proud and then check out. So that everybody knows on their end that I was the one who referred you over to their website to make you a new customer on their end. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to check them out, especially their Archon Off-Road lineup. It's actually really sick. Not only for Frosty do we get Archon Off-Road wheels, but I've also got another set coming for the Platinum. It's not the same set, but it's gonna look really good as well. Stay tuned, let's get on with the video. So in terms of what all we have going on today, we're actually on our way to my dad's chiropractic office because we're gonna get our adjustments here. We're here to keep our bodies in healthy operating shape and then we're gonna be picking up his King Ranch actually. Well, we're in the King Ranch and uh, we're gonna be actually taking this to a paint and body guy because he's got some scratches on the side of his bed from when he hit a pole and then he's got his dent in his bumper and a couple other small things that he wants to have the guy touch up and we're gonna see just how well he does with this because we're also trying to look for somebody to do and restore the regular cab 12 out. So we're gonna get over there right now. He said he's been doing it for a long time, according to my dad, and he just started his own shop or something. So we're gonna get over there and see what this is all about and see if he can help us out with this. We are in the blue Chevy right now, which by the way, we did finally get a winner for this truck. And the winner for this truck is Jennifer from Wisconsin. We've never had a female winner before, so this is interesting. So Jennifer cannot wait to get on the phone with you and finalize the details on you picking up your Chevy 1500, but we will get on the phone with you very soon. If not, have already called you by the time you see this video live, and then uh, we will get a time scheduled for you to come up and get your truck come down more likely or almost in Canada there <laughs> but uh, anyway so thank you so much to everybody who entered to win this truck I know there wasn't near as many people as usual for you know this Chevy 1500 as we usually have for like a diesel giveaway but for everybody that entered thank you so much anyways if I haven't told you yet in this video every five dollars is two entries to win our 2017 FT50 Platinum or our 1996 12 Alp Cummins. And if it's today, November 22nd, this is your final day, your last day for double entries. So if you're gonna get those double entries, you better get them quick because tonight, if it's the 22nd, get your entries. We're actually headed to a shop right now with some new wheels in the back of the truck. My dad's gonna meet me over there with the Platinum. I had to loan him my Platinum while his King Ranch was getting some work done. So he's gonna meet me at the shop and then we're gonna drop the Platinum off because it needs to get some new wheels put on it. And then we're gonna be taking, uh, then he's gonna be picking up the Chevy and then he's gonna be taking the Chevy instead because he still needs a truck right now. So anyways, um, and he still needs to pick his other two trucks up from my house. But anyhow, we're gonna get over here. We're gonna get this done. I'm not sure if the Ford's gonna be done tonight or not. I really hope it is, but they did say there's no guarantees that it'll get done tonight just because, you know, the day is already halfway through right now and I wasn't on the books or scheduled ahead. They're just always nice and let me drop it off whenever and they squeeze it in, even if I don't have an appointment a few days ahead of time. So um, anyways, if you're seeing this, I appreciate that, but we're gonna get the truck dropped off soon, swap it out for the Ford and get the Ford dropped off at the shop. And then once we get back, we'll do some more stuff at the house. There's a platy rolling in. So he's gonna back the truck up here. We're gonna actually throw the wheels in the bed of the truck. And then we'll see whether or not we get the truck back tonight, but that's the plan right now. Hey, there's like two inches before it touches the, the gravel. What do you think about that? You haven't seen this truck in person I haven't seen yet. it at all, no. No. I like the hood. You like the new lights? It's the old ones were like all faded. Slightly apart. cleaner than nasty red. Yeah. It's covered in dirt now, but man, it looks it looks good. Archon Off-Road, little plug there. Link in description. This is the rustiest spot on the truck. This little teeny tiny line right there. This is a little surface dust. I thought these were supposed to squeak. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Sure. No, that's just yours. It's a big truck. Look how tall this. Look how big this thing is. How about you get a set like this for the King Ranch? You're gonna have a super low profile <laughs> set. <laughs> I'm like Jonathan, meat and taters, man. Yeah. It's something the same as what I have with the other truck. Pretty much. If I just would have waited. Pretty much. I'm actually gonna still use these. I'm gonna take those and they're gonna we're gonna clean them up. And we're gonna put the 38 by 1450 wides on it. Some big. It's gonna be the complete opposite of for, this setup. For this truck. We're gonna see what it looks like on this truck, but it's basically the same thing, except it's gonna be a 38 inch tall, not a 35. And it's gonna be a 16 by 10 versus a 24 by 14. So it's gonna be a much different, much different style. Like the complete opposite taste. You know what I'm saying? An all tire, not much wheel versus all wheel and not as much tire. Another freaking manual. Listen, if you just tell me you want one, I can find them. Okay, so we did just get the dash top put in the truck. We got the new one in and it looks really good. Now, as you can imagine, finding a navy blue dash top was next to impossible, so I had to go with black, but that's okay because all of the other dash pieces and steering wheel and the boot here and all that other stuff, all the trim pieces in the cab are all black as it is and the vents and everything. So I don't think it's a bad look by any means, but you can see new dash. Not a bunch of big old splits and cracks and busted apart anymore and looks really, really good. So the next step for today, and I kind of just decided I was gonna do this a little bit ago, but new mirrors on the truck. These mirrors are usable, but they just don't scream aggressive heavy duty truck, especially not aggressive heavy, heavy duty Cummins diesel. Everybody knows you gotta have the actual Ram tow mirrors on there. So we're actually gonna be putting on a new set of fourth gen mirrors. So we're gonna get those unboxed and show you what we got. If you look here, this is the tow mirror that we went with. It's a fourth gen style. Of course, it's got the fourth gen style glass on the back as well. Which if you ask me, these are way nicer in these mirrors. Do not shake and vibrate and rattle like the second gen slash third gen style tow mirrors do, the most commonly used style. So um, we, went, we went with these and uh, we're gonna get these put on the truck right now. an hour later we did get both of these tow mirrors put on the truck and I gotta say it looks really good and the truck looks a little more complete and man I'm gonna be honest with you guys this truck has taken a lot of transformation in the last oh man it's been like a week since we bought it and uh, this thing looks it looks really really good so I'm super stoked to show you again here so of course we've got the mirrors folded out right now just because I just finished making that little montage piece where I kind of showed you with the mirrors folded and then folded out and uh, it looks really good. There's no justice to how massive this truck is. Like, yeah, like this is eye level for me right here. I mean, the thing is just a toad. Like, oh my goodness, it's just huge. And now we are still gonna do another setup, like comparison with the 16 by 10s and 38 by 1450s. And we're kind of gonna let you guys take your pick and decide you know, what you like better. In fact, what we can do is the winner of the giveaway, whether they want this truck or the Platinum, um, the wheels are interchangeable from this to the Platinum, but these wheels that we have on it or the 38 by 1450s and 16s um, that we are gonna have as well, I will actually let the winner take their pick whether they want this set or the 16 by 10s and 38 by 1450s and Either way, it's a super nice set. The other one's gonna be a set of Toyos, the 38 inch Toyos and 16 by 10s that were on the truck versus these are, you know, 35 by 1550 Furies and 24 by 14 Archon off-road wheels, which are freaking wide. But this setup completely clears, no rubbing, nothing. It's awesome. But I do wanna see what 38s look like on it because it is just more of like a classic look for this year and this body style of truck. But then again, 
they look good no matter what, so you really can't mess them up too bad. Guys, I've got to go now. I've got to meet up with a guy to buy that hood. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget, this might be the last day for the double entries. If it's the 22nd, it's your last day to get double entries. So every two entries for every $5 you spend, take advantage of that. LMPgear.com information is in the description below. Giveaway ends in, I think, two weeks by the time you see this video. So 14 days, I think, and then the giveaway is over. So get in while you can. Every $5 two entries to win and this truck right here could be yours five speed manual four wheel drive 12 valve beautiful truck anyways guys thank you so much i'll catch you in the next video peace